Right, uh, this uh, video lesson five. Uh, I would like to explain the uh, how to draw a dot and cross diagram for this compound called aluminium oxide. Okay, aluminium oxide, aluminium oxide is an ionic compound. Um, let's look, take a look at the uh, aluminium. It's a combination between aluminium metal and the oxygen non-metal. Okay, aluminium, we all know it uh, from the periodic table, we have 13 protons. Therefore, uh, in terms of electronic structure, uh, let's say this is aluminium. Okay, so I expect there will be three layers, 28.3. So, first layer, second layer, third layer. So, as usual, first layer and the second layer, no change. Two electron here, and then add electron. Add. Okay, an electron, and on the outside here we have three electron. One, two, three. That is will be given away. That's for metal, uh, for aluminium, and as for the um, oxygen, uh, we know oxygen from the periodic table have eight proton. So the electronic configuration is two six. So there are two layers, so this is oxygen, first layer again is two electron, and then the second layer is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I assume this is a dot, huh? it's easy to draw, okay, um, in exam you have to draw a proper dot. Okay, so basically there are, in order to, for oxygen to become a uh, normal gas or ion oxide they need to receive two um, electron um, from the aluminium so um, that is the case so three electron is given out and then here each atom oxygen only need to receive two okay then how to draw the uh, proper uh, ionic bonding the cross dot and cross diagram okay let's uh, take a look at it Okay, first of all, for aluminium, okay, aluminium, right, we draw the positive charge first. Always draw the positive charge in front, the negative charge behind the aluminium. All right, and then we know that aluminium, uh, there will be three electrons given out, so we know the charge is positive, three. Three electrons meaning three positive. Okay, so from 283 given up, so become 283. So there are only two layers. Okay, aluminium. First layer, two electrons. And then second layer, eight electron. Okay, so this is for aluminium. And for the oxygen, uh, we know is 2.6 and become 2.8. 2.8. Receive two electron from aluminium. So we know that if you draw the bracket, the charge will be two negative. Why? Because you only receive two electron to become eight here. Okay, so two negative, right? So how many layer here? Two layer. So two. So we use cross oxygen. First layer, okay, cross two, and then second layer eight. And just take note. Out of eight, right? Six is the originally the oxygen have six electron. Okay, and the remaining two is from aluminium. Aluminium. Okay. Now, this is not the final yet, because uh, if you stop here, your diagram will be wrong. The reason why? Because the total charge are different. In order to draw a uh, correct dot and cross diagram for ionic bonding you have to make sure the total positive charge must equal to the total negative charge so how to make them equal this is 3 plus this is 2 negative so what you can do is you time 2 2 here you put the number 2 in front of the bracket meaning 2 times 3 plus meaning there are 2 ion aluminium okay 2 ion aluminium combined with 3 ion oxide so 3 times 2, negative 6. So 2 times 3 plus, 
the total is 6 plus and then 3 times 2 negative the total negative charge is 6 negative so once the charge is balanced your dot and cross diagram is complete that's the reason why when you write the chemical formula for aluminium oxide aluminium oxide this is the chemical formula Al2O3 okay, Al2 meaning 2 atom aluminium combined with 2 atom aluminium combined with 3 atom of oxide form this ionic bonding called compound called aluminium oxide that's all for this lesson